Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday the 21st, and yeah, we are getting our day started. To start off today's vlog, I would just like to thank Steady.com for sponsoring today's video. I have absolutely been loving Steady.com. Steady.com is an online platform, whether you are a teacher or whether you are a homeschool, they have all kinds of tools and curriculum to help you out. I have really been loving the homeschool aspect of these things. They start from early elementary all the way up to mid elementary and up. They also have college credited courses that you can start taking that will keep track of it for your students once they get to that high school age and they want to start taking college credited courses. They will transfer over. One of my favorite things about this um, website is that, like I said, the things that are really hard for me to teach, I can go on to study.com and find lessons that my son is struggling in and have study.com teach him. They also offer they, they also offer tutors, so they have online tutors right there ready to help you whenever that you need. They also have a mobile app, which I really enjoy because if we are on the go or we're having a, just a rough day where we're not really able to sit down and do homeschool, I can pull up study.com on their tablets and on Ethan's phone, and they can do a few lessons on there. And like I said, you can line it up with anything that you're already using. I like to use study.com as an aid to help me teach. I am not a teacher. I am not a licensed teacher. I did not go to school for teaching. So I kind of need a lot of help, and that's what study.com has really been helping me do. So again, Thank you, study.com, for sponsoring today's video. If you use my link down in the description box, you will get 30% off of your first three months. I highly recommend it, especially if you are a homeschool mom or you're just beginning your homeschool journey. It'll really help you kind of learn how to teach the aspects and also it'll seeing the lessons and the way that they teach it will, and you're doing it with your child will also help you kind of learn how to teach it and how to help your child understand and that's one thing that I've really been loving for that. So again, check out study.com. The link is down in my description box. And yeah, I hope that you guys join. Again, you get 30% off of your first three months when you use the link down in the description box. Ooh. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and go get started. Like I said, I need to fix the bed and I need to start laundry. Bryson and King are right now doing their learning videos on the TV. I always get sidetracked. I hate when drawers and cabinets are left like open. I don't know why. It's just a pet peeve of mine. I need to start the dishwasher too. I did not start the dishwasher last night because it was not full. I was going to wait till they ate breakfast, but now it'll be done by lunch. And today for dinner, we're having um, baked potatoes. Brian wanted like a barbecue chicken baked potato. So I'm going to take off the chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, guys, look, I will link this down below, but I just got this new rug. What do we think? Uh, I absolutely love it. I didn't, I thought, I thought it was going to look weird, but everybody said, like, when you get an area rug for your dining room table, you want it to be a lot bigger. This is an 8 by 10 excuse me, rug, and it's, it's actually really affordable for this size rug. I think this size rug was only, like, $150. Um, it's also machine washable. So I really love that because obviously the boys are going to be eating right there. So I love that. And they have multiple different sizes, really affordable for the sizes that they are. And believe me, I have looked for rugs that look that cute, that are printed. And you ain't finding nothing cheaper than $200 for something that size. So I think $150, well, it's like $143.99 plus tax. It'll be like $150. But you're not finding something that cheap. So yeah, let me go ahead and get this bed fixed and get this laundry started and then I'll see y'all back in the homeschool room.
from you read a poster. Don't forget, trip to the pumpkin patch tomorrow. Pumpkin picking contest. Next, next morning, Froggy woke up and looked out the window. A beautiful pumpkin moon was setting and the colorful leaves were falling. Leaves, leaves, cried Froggy. I want to go out and play in the... Oops! He fell out of the bed. King, back, King, back up. Your brothers can't see. But Froggy ran off to see the dogs. Flop, flop, flop. And was about to stick his hand in a cage. Froggy, called Mom. What? Stay here, stay there. And, do, and don't stick your hand in a cage. But when Mom got to Froggy, the cutest little doggie in the world had stuck her nose out of the cage. Bandana over his eyes. Then Froggy swung the back. Can and you? missed. Zwish. He swung again. Swish. And on his third swing, whack! The pinata flew mm. up, up, mm. up. Mm. And then dropped down, down, down. Flies, maybe? And Froggy burst burst open on Froggy's head. Blah! Oops! cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Why does Twice every then. book say Sit that? Sit down and chill out. Why does every book say Sit that? Sit down. Burp! And everyone Burp. laughed. <laughs> Burp day. <laughs> Even doggy. Why does every book say face more red on the face than green? Because he was embarrassed. Oh yeah, bear! And when you get embarrassed, you turn red. I'm already in When you're angry, you turn green like the Hulk. That's his mouth. Alright, you guys, school and story time is done. We are eating. Well, the boys already ate. I just sat down. Is it. Why is that shadow so weird? Let's see. Okay, there we go. That's better. So I'm eating pasta, leftover pasta. The boys had leftover pasta. Got me some juice. Um, I had the boys clean their bathroom today. I am no longer cleaning their bathroom. They will because I feel like, ooh, I just spilled my juice. Because I feel like I do so much and then they just, like, they don't appreciate it. And so that's just what's going to, that's just how it's going to be. You can agree, disagree, but yeah, I'm not going to be raising these lazy sons that think that they can make a mess and someone's just going to go behind them and clean it up. No, you will clean up after yourself. So yeah, that's the lesson they're being taught. I'm no longer cleaning their bathroom on Mondays. They are, um, like, the shower and stuff. I'll go in there and do the mirror. I'll do whatever the mess on them. I'm going to sit down and rest for the rest of the day. All right, you guys, it is nighttime. I did not cook dinner, so I didn't cook dinner. Um, I'm barely doing my daily chore. kind of took it easy today. I didn't cook dinner, but we didn't order out, so that's a win. Me, Brian, and Bryson and King ate, uh sandwiches and then Ethan ate some more leftover pasta and we still have leftover pasta so that's what we'll be for lunch again tomorrow and then Brian has leftover fajitas for lunch that I cooked last night for dinner and then for dinner tomorrow night um, supposed to be chicken sandwiches but I think I might move the baked potatoes to tomorrow night so yeah, right now I'm just going to clean the bathroom before I get in the shower. So.
punishment. done I will clean the showers next week or the week after I give them a good deep clean once a month that's probably gross to most people but do what works for you don't judge me so yeah clean the shower I need a bit of optimist maybe I'll be home Friday but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower and I'll see you guys tomorrow. hey guys today's Tuesday the 22nd good morning I uh, almost forgot to vlog today. I'm barely about to. I've been on the phone all morning, taking care of things. Uh, my freaking curriculum that I ordered is got lost in the mail, so I have to call them, get it replaced, and hopefully I get all of it here before we start our new school year on the fourth. So even though we are doing homeschool, we are finishing up our summer's homeschool, and we start our new school year. On the 4th of September 5th 4th or 5th can't remember but yeah I'm about, barely about to edit for the day just wanted to I saved the number oh I've got to call this person back you guys but yeah pretty much just right, you guys I've been sucky at vlogging today <laughs> um I uh just been so busy today so busy I don't even think that I've caught a break honestly today um, except for whenever I was eating lunch I think I got to sit down and watch TV and then I've been go 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 ever since then but um, now I'm about to do my nighttime chores I thought that I'd just show you guys that it's just really like Pat Grimes lunch clean up and lay it down I'm tired so yeah let's just go ahead and do that. so ugly I'm so ugly today anyways I'm about to redo it but um today is a pretty I don't want to say chill day but I'm just gonna be getting my house in order especially this homeschool room I'm gonna start setting up like all the homeschool curriculum getting curriculum um, I was trying to wait until all of the boys curriculum came in but it just keeps getting delayed and delayed and delayed so we're not gonna do that but um, as of right now I got glue on my damn shirt. So annoying. Um, so, um, 
yes, yeah, so I got the music blurring and I'm just getting the house in order today. Alright you guys, it took me four hours and it took four buckets of water because I like to boil it. It took four buckets of water to get the walls and all the floors done, but it's done and it was it was very much needed. I'm so ashamed of myself. And just to think, I clean at least all the walls in my house at least once a month, so the amount of dirt that came off was insane, but I feel sticky from how sweaty I am. So I'm going to take a shower and then I'm going to eat some lunch. It's 3 p.m. y'all. I started at 10 a.m. Um, I just sat down and rested for an hour. And now my feet are killing me. Uh, so yeah, I'm about to 
Okay, I'm about to take a shower because I need it. But yeah, I'm about to chill for the rest of the day. I still need to go into the office and organize the homeschool stuff. I did rearrange it a little bit. So I feel like everything just looks so much brighter now that I cleaned. Well, now that I clean the nose, but see, so I moved this over here because I felt like <sighs> that damn curtain keeps falling, and I'm just absolutely freaking done with it. Like, I'm so done with this damn curtain because no matter what sticky thing I put on here, it just falls. And when I tell you, I've tried multiple. <clears throat> It just keeps falling, but um, I think I might do what we did in the master at one point. Like we had that up there, but I thumbtacked the rod and the curtain in place, so that way it looked like it was sitting on there, but it actually wasn't. So that way that thing didn't keep falling. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. But anyways, yeah, I need to get that organized. And, but I just felt like this wall was way too crowded. That chair needs to go back into the boys' room. And then everything else will have a place. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to put all the homeschool school supplies and curriculum on that wall. And I just felt like that wall was just way too crowded. But now I feel like everything's centered, so much better. Quiet. Yeah. Let's go to the table with the green chairs, even. We can still sit there. We can still sit there. We can still sit there. You want to keep? You want to keep? You and Bryson share a chair. You and Bryson. King, that's already too many. Whose books are those on the floor? That's too many. Okay, so pick four. Four that you really, really want. Okay, so four. You already have four in your hands. Put those up there. Lay them flat. You can stop over there and look. King, so why don't you go look for the books where we were? Because you're still little. You like books like what mommy got. Okay, let's go back to the little people section. Okay. Hey guys, so we just left the library. They actually did not have story time today. So all we did was turn our books in, and then we picked out some new books. I'll show you guys what books I picked out for Read Alouds this week. Just little fun books. Um, and then right now we're heading to Walmart. We're going to head to the one closest to my sister's house. Um, I can see to get a couple of, I just organized the homeschool area today. And uh, kind of saw who was lacking what and who needed what. So, um... Yeah, I just need to go get two, I need to get probably three pairs of scissors, no, two, two pairs of scissors would be good. I'll just sanitize and wash a pair that I have in the kitchen and put it back into the homeschool room. Um, but I need to get two pairs of kids scissors and two pairs of kids scissors, one folder and a sharpener and dry erase markers. I think that that's all that I need. Oh, I should have went, should have went to Target. It's like right around the corner. It's too late now. 
So okay, I'm gonna stop at the Walmart closest to my sister's house and pick up those couple of things and then I will actually be like completely done with some shopping. Um and then like throughout the year I'll like buy little things here and there that I see them on sale. Um, I have a book for that. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to keep you like used to buy school supplies throughout the whole entire school year. And then she would keep them in this big book. And so then every school year she wouldn't have to spend like a huge lump sum. She would just go through that bin and see what she had and um, everything out of that book. Um, and then um, everything out of that like out of that bin she would take out and then I just replace whatever was not in the bin. Like go buy what was not in the bin that we needed. And I thought that I just had that idea today as I had that bin that was empty. I thought to start keeping my extra school supplies and stuff in here. So yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. So I have to the road even though I'm talking about. So I'll see you guys when we get to work. Uh, here at Walmart. Come on guys, hurry up. Hurry up. Hold this, Ethan. Come on, they're getting tired. Finally found what I'm looking for. I don't want them with the holes in them. See that hurt? No. Ethan, stand here. Here, please. Look, the one exactly the one that I'm looking for. I need a blue one. This doesn't have the prongs. Do I need to have the prongs? Oh, Ethan, can you pick that up, please? Um, Bryson, stop. Yeah, mommy. Yeah, mommy. Ethan, stop. Oh, they have this expo here. They don't have like a knockoff gun. Dry erase marker. Oh, yeah, they do. I'm just sorry. I don't want that big pack. I'm gonna grab these because that's the wrong one, but I don't see a. Yeah. I'm just gonna go with these ones. Alright, you guys. 
I found everything with a freaking sharpener. I looked high, low, left, right, zigzag, and I could not find a sharpener. So much so, I spent 30 minutes looking for a damn sharpener, and now we barely have any park time left. Still gotta go pick up my sister. Ugh. Just, I hate when I do that. I should have just waited. But, yeah, because now my sister and my nieces and nephews are waiting on me. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go. Right, we brought the boy brought the boys to the park. No. This is our new favorite park, IDKY. At least they finally updated it. Yeah, I was, I'm still mad about it though, because they took away that big old shade thing. Now, like, they couldn't even put no benches in the under the, the water damn trees. Or it fit water. It I don't know. Yeah, I'm water out. <laughs> I don't know what to consider that it did, but water came out of it. I'm gonna go sit under the I told you! I told you they didn't even put no new benches or nothing in the shade. Just out in the open. Hot! That little tree over there is in the shade, but you gotta be sitting like this when they playing over here. Alright. There's a lot of kids here, y'all, so I'm not gonna film. All right, you guys. Um, so once we left the park, I dropped my sister off. Then Brian dropped us off at home. And then I chilled for a little bit, got the boys fed, got them laid down for a nap. And then my other sister came over, and we had some mm, ramen. And uh, now what I'm doing, all the boy, the rest of the boys' curriculum came in. There's a whole. There's going to be a whole video over their homeschool curriculum. So if you want to see that, that will be there. Um, but um, yeah, but right now what I am doing is I'm going to change out this, I'm not gonna change it out. I'm going to put a rug pad down for our rug. So yeah, I gotta move the table and the chairs. Somebody was so mad in my last video and was like, why didn't you just move the chair and the chair and the tables before you even open the rug? And I'm like, I'm the one who had to do the extra work. What are you so mad about? People on TikTok get mad about the darndest things. Like, they're, some people are pissed that I even put a rug underneath my table. They are in an uproar. Why would you do that? That's so disgusting. It attracts dirt. And I'm like, do y'all not clean y'all's house? Because that's the only reason I could think about a rug getting just completely disgusting is someone just not caring and not cleaning their house so anyways I'm just going to set the rug pad up after I move the table so let's go ahead and do that all right you guys the rug pad is down I did have to trim it but it is down and I've been getting on TikTok so many people ask me about my table so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all here too it's from Cons Home Plus and then the rug I will find it on Amazon and link it for y'all so yeah, there's that. <laughs> Let me get the boys right. dinner. I also have this outside rug. I want to use it for like whenever me and the boys want to go on picnics and stuff. We have something to sit on. And we don't have to worry about sitting directly on the grass. And it's really lightweight. And I think I got the 5 by 7 Or something a little smaller. Let me see. Oh, I got the 5 by 8 So yeah, I got the 5 by 8 in the gray and white. And now let me show you guys what I got from Walmart. I got that blue folder. I was, it was so hard to find one with prongs. So I was like, do I really need the prongs? Because I didn't want to pay for one of those five-star med folders. And this was only 15 cents. So I was like, no, I don't really need the prongs. So this is just going to hold their notebook paper that they will need to show, like, their math work or spelling test and things like that. I got me some dry erase markers for whenever the boys are doing um, like their dry erase work. I can help them with my own dry erase markers. Um, I did get this little desk set. So it has thumbtacks, paper clips, and then I needed these the most. I don't know what these are. These like It's like a different kind of paper clip. Oh, these are called binder clips. These right here. So to bind them together. I really needed some of those. And then I got permanent markers to write their names on their pencil boxes. Um, I got a hole punch for whenever they do like specific um, art projects and stuff or 
telling time, you know, you need to put that little like push pin thing through the paper. So I got one of those. Two pairs of scissors, one for Brian, one for Ethan. I got another ruler, one for Bryson, so this will go in his drawer. And then I couldn't find a sharpener to save my life, but luckily my sister had an extra one, so this will now go in Brian's uh, pencil box. So finally done with all of that. Um, I'm going to finish filming my homeschool room stuff once my husband is done cutting hair. So, like I said, there's going to be a whole video on that, and you guys will be able to see, like, everything. There's lollipops on my carpet right here. So, you guys will be able to see every single little thing. I'm going to have to cut the carpet right there now. But, yeah, I'm going to put this back in the office. Um, I just didn't want to leave you guys hanging, so I'm probably just going to chill for the rest of the night. Find something for Brian and I to eat since the boys are eating ramen right now. So, yeah, I'm going to pour me a glass of wine and just chill, and I'll see you guys Good tomorrow. morning, you guys. Today is Friday the 25th. I am currently about to bathe Optimus. Yep, we're about to bathe him. Got my apron on, got the little setup going, so let's go ahead and just get that done, you guys. And I think I fixed my camera. Is it perfect? No. Will it work? Yes. <laughs> like these days y'all I am always at Walmart today I have to get I have to get a different kind of glue to fix my camera and then um, I need to get a sewing kit so that's all I'm here for today that's all I gotta get it's hot but it's not as hot as yesterday I think it's only 80 degrees right now and at this time yesterday it was already in the 90s it's like 92 so yeah, for all the boys Hi. Hi. Hello. I should have came to this Walmart yesterday. Their school stuff is still in really good order. Walmart I went to yesterday, I was like, nothing in order. Anyways, I got all their fall stuff out. Pay attention, guys. No, stop touching stuff. Yeah. Take a look. That is glue. See, I had tried this one. This one did not work good at all. So I just need like a regular O. Like. This one's a few cents more, but it's actually worth more money than buying that one because you get more. Please stop. Okay. Here we go. See, the thing about sewing kits, though, is that... You always want to make sure that the string is good quality because if it's not, then what you're sewing is just going to mess up anyway. Like, I kind of want to get this. But I really just need a thread and some needles. Right, sewing kit secured. I really want to measure my waist and stuff. But, um, this is all we needed, but good to go. Alright, you make a blue. <laughs> 
I'll grab the bag. Thank you, Mama. Why did you say we could get trips? Hey, it's so thoughtful of you. Oh, and a drink. No, I'm sorry. I already paid. Uh, you should have got this before Mommy paid. Put that in the back. In the back. And a smile. Okay. And a smile. Smile. Yes. Thank you so much. All right. I never showed you guys yesterday what I needed the sewing kit for. But I needed it to sew this patch onto Brian's jersey. It's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. I did my best bet, and it took me like two hours to sew this thing on. I always like it, because like you can't really see the stitching, except for it's crooked. But on the inside, it's a hot mess. <laughs> so I did that for him. Um, but that's what I needed it for. I told him it was an iron-on patch. He was like, no, I want you to sew it. So I sewed it on, because that one's ironed on. But anyways, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging, and I wanted to go ahead and end this vlog. I'm just going to spend today editing. And on the computer, I got some things I need to do on the computer. So once I'm done doing those business-type things on the computer, I'm just going to edit. And then just chill for the whole, just chill for the rest of the day. Right, so, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope that you guys stay and join my little family. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!